Good morning. Uh, a few words to share with uh, my friends uh, out here, uh, literally all over the nation. Uh, uh, my home state of Virginia is really uh, making a lot of news for the last several days. Uh, the governor of my home state, uh, a, a, a pediatric doctor, Ralph Northam, uh, made uh, news over his horrific stance on a border side uh, several days ago. And that did not uh, bring as much condemnation as uh, some 35 year old uh, pictures, uh, college pranks. Uh, the doctor claims that's not him. Uh, it, it's obviously the, the type of people that he uh, hang around, uh, whether it was him or not is irrelevant to me. Uh, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not super offended by it. Uh, you know, I'm on, I'm on my way to church, actually. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have to uh, uh, listen to a lot of very, very uh, well-meaning uh, and dear friends. Uh, they're going to trip all over themselves to apologize, uh, which they have n nothing to apologize for, uh, by the way. <laughs> but they're going to they're going to want to apologize, uh, you know, as though my feelings, you know, are hurt. Uh, I, I carry the word of God with me and uh, these people, they do not hurt my feelings. OK, so, uh, you know, hopefully uh, some of my dear, wonderful friends at, uh, at Fairmount Christian Church will get this. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, as 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 I post this all over, I'll, I'll be sure to post it also on the Fairmount Christian uh, page. <laughs> but, um, by the time they hear this message. I will have already endured all those apologies, <laughs> and, uh, but I know their hearts. I, I know their hearts, and I, I love my friends at Fairmont. You know, and and I know there are many, many uh, Christians, and and probably a few that you know are Democrats. Although I, for the life of me, I have a very, very difficult time understanding how people can be a truly, truly mature Christian and continue to be a Democrat. Uh, you know, I pray for these people and uh, a part of the uh, the work that I do as a watchman on the wall uh, through my radio broadcast, The Really Real Deal, is to uh, share with people the truth that they, they really, really do need to come out of that uh, Democrat party. And, you know, they say the two things that people do not discuss in polite company are, are politics and religion. And, and of course, my radio program, we discuss both. OK. And uh, not only do we discuss both, I try as best I can to combine both. Uh, and this, you know, here we are at the beginning of Black History Month and you have the, all of this phony outrage. Well, partially phony. I think it, a lot of it is, is maybe it's sincere outrage, but the very people that are outraged over uh, a guy in blackface and a, and a guy with a Klansman robe, this, this very same people will not admit that it was the Democrat Party uh, that this Democrat governor uh, and his, his friends from medical school, it's the Democrat Party that they were imitating. Uh, the lynchings uh, through the Jim Crow era was political violence. It was not racial violence because it was Democrats that lynched 3,446 black Republicans. The same Democrats lynched 1,350 white Republicans. It was Democrats lynching Republicans. And so when people want to uh, speak about the racial aspect of the lynchings, white against black, but when white men lynch white men, it's the same argument I make about all the other types of uh, crime in America. This is a, these are human issues. These are not necessarily racial issues. You have two white guys with a problem. You, have just, you just have two white guys with a problem. You have two black guys with a problem or two Hispanic guys with a problem. Then that's, just, that's what you have a human problem. But if the racists get crossed and it's the same identical problem, whether the problem is uh, a crass joke or whether the problem is committing a border side, okay? And let's make no mistake about it. That's what this is. This is a border side. This is infanticide, okay? Then all of a sudden it's a racial issue, okay? But because Dr. Northam is a Democrat and because Democrats want to go after the young vote, 
and they don't want to tell young people that you have to engage in sexual abstinence. They don't want to tell young people that you should marry first. They don't want to have to say these things. They want to be able to unleash all these passions and, and they want to be the party uh, that tell them that if it feels good, do it. They don't want to be the party of the adults. And the adults will say, no, it, you might think it's going to feel good, but you need to stop first and then you need to think and you need to you know, understand what you've been taught throughout your life and your Christian faith. And so I mean, we have uh, so-called men of God that won't even have this conversation. As a matter of fact, when I was a young man, not one single man or woman of God had that conversation with me. Not one. I had to learn about sexuality uh, in the locker room. And I made sure that my children, my son and my daughter, they did not hear it from the locker room. I remember the first time my son went out on a date and I got right up in his face and I said, son, I'm going to assume that this young lady you're going out with is a virgin. And you make damn sure when you return her to her father that she is still a virgin. Do you understand me, son? And my son said, yes, sir. No one had that conversation with me. If we were to have conversations like that with our young people, then doctors like Dr. Northam would have less opportunity to kill our babies because our babies would have the protection. They will be born in wedlock. They would not be born out of wedlock. And it galls me that these Negro pulpit pimp preachers and pulpit pimp politicians, I think I got that mixed up, <laughs> okay. <laughs> They are, the politicians are poverty pimps. The preachers are pulpit pimps. Let's just get these pimps uh, straight, okay? <laughs> and look, don't, don't get mad. Don't type into my Facebook uh, that uh, I'm being unchristian because I'm just going to refer you to the many, many things that my big brother, Jesus Christ, said uh, that were, you know, really uh, tough and direct. OK, so don't don't even waste your time. Just you know, maybe click it off and, and go watch something else. Go go watch the football game. All right. But don't don't, don't bother me with that. This, this is these are important things. And the, the answers are in the word of God. OK, this is not rocket science. All right. Um, the book of Proverbs says that we must speak for those that cannot speak for themselves, those that are slated for destruction. And those are our unborn babies. And I want to see as much outrage over that as I do over this prank, okay? You call yourself a watchman on the wall. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. Last time I checked, uh, people out there, and particularly you who are preachers, okay? And you who are leaders of, of Christian faith, okay? Last time I checked, Isaiah 62.6 is not a that is a command. That is from the word of God. That's not the word of Brother Craig. And so these are the things that are really, really important. OK, now, will will Governor Northam uh, resign? Because that's all, you know, Fox News, CNN, you know, everywhere you go. I hope the man does not resign. OK, because people and I think it's by God's design that this happened 35 years ago. And it is coming out now, okay? Because people need to, if this nation is gonna be saved, you know, President Trump cannot save it by himself. I cannot save it by myself. You know, the, the, the Christian community, we cannot save it by ourselves. It's gonna take all of us. It's gonna take what I call the Christian conservative constitutional capitalistic coalition. And we all have a role to play. And I'm, I'm playing my role. My prayer is that you are playing your role, but uh, Dr. Northam needs to stay exactly where he is so that these, the, these, these uh, black ministers can stop being Negroes and they can become, uh, you know, really, really uh, true Americans. And they can be, uh, literally, they can be called uh, more advocates of black America. And I refer to them as Negroes because the word Negro is very archaic 
and I think their ideas are very archaic. Okay, and so I'm probably the blackest man in America because I'm willing to say the tough thing that black Americans need. And I say these things and then I have to endure hatred from uh, my fellow black Americans, okay? And uh, typically, and you all who are long time viewers, listeners, you know, I've been a radio broadcaster for over 10 years. You know, I do not wear my brown skin on my sleeve. I'm just a son of the living God. That's all I am, okay? No more no less. I'm an American. I'm not a black American. I'm not a half black, half white American. I'm not, I'm not any of that. I'm just an American. But the, when these racial issues uh, pop up in the Democrat Party, they use these things. They use these things to keep people trapped in that archaic mindset, okay? And you know these 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 pulpit pimp preachers act as though their Bible does not have anything from St. Paul to the Ephesians that says there's no black, no white, no male, no female, no Jew, no Gentile, no rich, no poor. And I know I'm expanding a little bit, but please allow me uh, just to do that. But you know what what is it about these people? They they have half a Bible, okay? The answers are all right there. And again, folks. This is not rocket science. And so my prayer is that Dr. Northam stays exactly where he is. We do not need a uh, healing right away, okay? We need to be able to face up to the pain and the difficulties and the truth, okay? And the truth of the matter is that these Democrats, and even including Dr. Northam himself, when he won the governor's race, he accused his Republican opponent of being a racist without one iota of evidence or truth. He's not a mind reader. He's not a heart reader. And so now here he is whining and crying, oh, boo hoo hoo, uh, pity me. When I was 25 years old, I put shoe polish on my face and pretended to be Michael Jackson, but that's not who I am now. Uh, I just, I pray that you are able to, you know, look at the man of who I am now. The Lord's Prayer, and, the, and Dr. Northam says with his lips, he is a Christian. Okay, his heart is very far from Jesus Christ. But the Lord's Prayer says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And to the extent that these Democrats never ever miss an opportunity to say that Republicans are racist, and nine times out of 10, there is absolutely zero evidence to support this so called racism. They use, they use this race card like a billy club and they beat these hapless goofball Republicans who do not know how to fight for themselves. I'll fight for you out there. I'll fight for you. But Ed Gillespie was unable to fight for himself. Ed Gillespie lost the race, okay? Ed Gillespie is not a racist. Ed Gillespie is just weak, okay? And that's unfortunate, but that's the reality, okay? But this doctor wants forgiveness. This doctor wants to be seen as the man he has evolved to be, not the man that he evolved from, okay? Do they give that grace to uh, President Trump? They say, oh, President Trump was with a loose woman uh, 15 years ago. Well, big whoop, okay? Woman shouldn't have been loose. Maybe the president wouldn't have been with her. But is anyone going to say, well, oh, well, now he's 70 years old. He's not running around with loose women anymore. He has a beautiful wife. So let us forgive President Trump for his past discretions. Okay? Remember, that's the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And so if you're not going to use the word of God, don't call yourself a Christian. Okay? And that's directed directly at you preachers out there, you black Democrat preachers here in this month of a black history month that, you know, you, you're going to all wax eloquent and you're going to cry, cry, cry over this 35 year old picture. And you said not one mumbling word when the same doctor was talking about killing babies and 13 percent of the population in the United States is black and almost 50 percent. Of, of the abortions are black. So when you add up 54 million abortions since 1973, almost 50% of them have been black babies. 
and the Negro preacher has nothing to say, okay? Nothing, nothing. Anyway, I better shut down then because I need to go to church. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. God bless you. Thank you for listening. And listen, share this message, please. Thank you.